Hello everyone! We're so glad you're here with us today. We're gonna go on a trip to meet some praying mantises. So let's get started. Let's start with a mindful moment. So just getting comfortable. Uh, maybe you're laying down, maybe you're sitting up. Just checking in with yourself today. So adjusting as you need. I'm gonna ring the bell and we'll just start by listening to the sound. So maybe our eyes are open, maybe they're closed. Remembering this is your practice, so doing what feels good in your body. If anything, if any of our stretches or poses hurt, do it a different way that feels good for you. And so like Trayson said, we're gonna go on an adventure to meet some praying mantises. So to do that, we're gonna head over to the school because praying mantises sometimes like to be on the wall where the sun hits it and it's really warm. So let's go see if we can find some. We're gonna ride our bicycles. So coming to lay onto our backs or if you have a different way you wanna ride your bike, you can do that too. So we lift up our legs, arms are on the ground and then we bicycle our legs. Here we go, on our adventure. Maybe they'll be green. What other colors are praying mantises? Whitish and tannish. Yeah, whitish and tannish. Okay, and then we arrive at the school. So let's come to come all the way up to sit. We'll warm up a little bit before we get going on our adventure. So sitting up nice and tall, we'll stretch out our necks. So being very gentle with your neck, do what feels good for you. We might start with an inhale at center, finding that tall, strong back on the exhale, releasing the chin towards the chest, stretching out the back of your neck and your upper back. Maybe a nice big, full breath. Hmm. And then from here, we'll inhale and roll all the way up. Exhale, releasing one ear to one shoulder. Maybe you're doing gentle neck rolls, doing what feels good for you. If it feels good, you can release your chin down towards your chest, circling over to that other shoulder. Checking in that your shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears. And then any other stretching you might like. And then coming back to center. All right. All of a sudden, we notice a little boy on the playground working on his shrink ray. And out of nowhere, a big zap blasts us and we turn into the size of a praying mantis. So now we are really on an adventure, right? So we, we notice some praying mantis on the wall in the sun. So we go to explore and we notice that they're playing a game of soccer. So, the little sister in our group, Polly, decides that she's going to ask the praying mantises if we can play with them. So she runs over there. Can we play? Can we play? Do you think the praying mantises let them play? No, they ignored us. So then, the little sister thought and she thought, and then she had an idea and she ran over to the praying mantises. Can we please play soccer with you? 
And what do you think they said? They said yes. Thank you for using your manners. So let's come into soccer pose where we bring our hands down to the ground and our feet on the ground, kind of like crab. And then we lift our bottoms up and we're gonna go back and forth playing a game of soccer. So let's go to the right and we go dig, 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 boop. And then we go the other way, dig, 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 boop. Play our soccer back the other way, dig, 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 dig boop. Lifting those bottoms up. And if you need to take a break, take a break anytime, boop. All right. And then coming back down to center. Oh, let's do some shoulder rolls. That was a good game of soccer. Nice work, everyone. And what should we say to those praying mantis? Thank you. <laughs> and we're noticing that the praying mantis have these really interesting triangular shaped heads. So we're gonna come into triangle, a triangle shape with our bodies, also known as downward facing dog. So we'll come onto our hands and knees, tucking the toes, and then lifting our bottoms up to make a triangle shape with our bottoms, bringing our chest towards our thighs. And the legs can be bent as much as you like, and we can wiggle around however it feels good. And then eventually coming to stillness and taking three big full breaths here. Taking a break anytime you need. And then we'll come to squats and we're going to come into a praying mantis shape because we noticed that when the praying mantis were standing up, their arms are folded over and they have little, what, are, what do they have on them? Claws. Claws on there, yeah. And um, so, and their arms are folded over, so it looks like they're praying. So we're coming into our praying mantis pose. And let's see if we can kind of balance on the balls of our feet and take three big breaths with me in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice big exhale, releasing every last whisper in through the nose, out through the mouth, following your own breath. Last one, nice big inhale. And And then coming, let's come to rest in a sleeping praying mantis shape. Just folding over, or sometimes we call it rock or child's pose, coming to rest. Maybe your forehead comes all the way down to the ground, maybe not. Taking nice big full breaths. slowly come all the way up, growing into a tree because praying mantis also like to climb in trees. So finding your tree, remember both feet can stay on the ground, maybe we lift up onto the ball of the foot, maybe we lift the foot onto the leg, either below the knee or above the knee, whatever works best for you and your branches wherever you would like reaching up towards the sun, maybe reaching down towards the earth, grounding in. Sometimes it's helpful to find one spot to look at that's not moving. Standing nice and tall, rooting down through that standing foot, imagining those roots growing deep into the earth, the top of your head, the top of that tree trunk reaching up breath, releasing when you're ready. Shake out that standing leg, wiggle, stretch in whatever way you need. Good job. 
All right, balance poses are so good to help us balance the right and left sides of the brain, those two hemispheres in the brain. We're gonna go do the second side now, so balancing on that other foot, maybe bouncing a little, sending that energy down into the earth, finding your tree wherever your tree wants to be, and then finding your branches. Staying nice and tall. Big, slow, full breath. Maybe imagining a tree that you like to sit under and look up into, or maybe there's a tree that you like to climb and maybe hang on the branches. And releasing when you're ready. From here, we'll take a nice big inhale, sweeping those arms wide. Maybe looking up if that feels good. Bringing the palms together down to the heart on an exhale. Inhale, reaching the palms up towards the sky. Exhaling, diving forward. Just hanging in our forward fold here. Gently shake the head no and nod yes. Your hands might be close to the ground or not. Whatever feels good for you. And then we're gonna come all the way down to the ground for rest. So ending our journey here, magically being transformed back into ourselves and transported back into our homes. We rest laying comfortably, however that is for you, on your back or your belly or your side. Inviting your whole body to relax and to get heavy. Inviting your head to get heavy. And your heart to relax. Your big, heavy bones melting into the floor. Just resting. Continuing to melt into the floor when it's time to wake the body up or ring the bell. Gently waking the body, stretching in whatever way feels good. Maybe reaching the hands up overhead for a good morning stretch. And then maybe rolling over onto one side, just kind of curling up, noticing how you feel or noticing anything that wants to be noticed. And then coming all the way up to sit And then today, I thought we could say thank you in Spanish as well as Sanskrit. So in Spanish, we say gracias. So if you'd like to join me, bringing the hands together in front of the heart. Nice big inhale, thinking of something that we're thankful for. Exhaling, allowing that thankfulness, that gratitude to fill up our bodies. Gracias, everyone. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us.